What is up and welcome back to Cajun Job Over Reviews. My name is Bo, aka the Cajun Job Over. And today we are reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Mighty Minotaur. And this is the 30th anniversary um, figure. I wish they would have did the Rolled Minotaur like they did, uh, like they had on the Power Rangers once and always. But I'll stick with this one. I do like how the lightning effect goes around his horns, as you can tell in the box. But it does come with that lightning effect, and I'm seeing it comes with an extra pair of hands, his shield, his club, or mace, whatever you want to call it. And he also comes with a little clay figure for um, Finster, for your Finster figure. So let's take a look at that box. Mighty Minotaur. I like that art in the corner. Back on the side, sorry. You get that art on this side. You get the back of the box. So Mighty Minotaur was a good monster. Um, I do like the design as well. So let's go ahead and reward to the desk. Take it out of the box. Check for any imperfections. Check out the articulation. But first, Cue that intro. Alright, and here the Mighty Minotaur is out of the box. And um, he is huge, um, just like most of the other monsters. But here's his lightning effect that goes on his horns. Got his mace. Got his little mini clay figure for um, for Finster. Got his extra set of hands. One's a punching hand, closed fisted hand, and one's a gripping hand. And we got his shield. Um, I'm hoping that one day we get the um, Robo Minotaur as well, but that is all his accessories. So let's go ahead and get him off of the turntable and we'll check out the articulation and um, check out to see if uh, he has any imperfections. And I'm sorry these are just kind of shorter. I, I, I usually take a little bit longer, but I figure most of the people who who are watching this know a lot about Power Rangers and know about the monsters already so instead of explaining everything about them I'm just going through what we got with them and the articulation and stuff alright y'all here the mighty Minotaur is off of the turntable and I mean he is menacing I like it he's got those butterfly joints and his shoulders you can do a full 360 his horns kind of get in the way. His head can do a full 360. He can look up this much. He can look down that much. I like how this is not connected to the head. That way it gives it more articulation. Got an ab and torso crunch. It's pretty good. Can bend back that much. Can bend forward this much. He's got a double jointed elbow pinless elbow got a bicep swivel his hand can go down this much can go up this much he can split pretty well this doesn't really stop him like it does with some of the rangers with their skirts or their holsters or something like that the tail doesn't really stay up or anything like that He's got a thigh swivel. He can kick up this much. His foot can go down that much, or his hoof can go up that much. Um, he's got a foot swivel and an ankle pivot. He's got double jointed pinless knees. And that's it for the mighty Minotaur. He doesn't have any paint imperfection from what I see. He looks good. Um, the monsters have been pretty good. Besides like Eye Guy and King Sphinx not really having much um, much detail on them. Um, they're still good figures. And like this is another good monster figure. Um, I give this one a 10 out of 10. 
But if if you collect these monster figures, let me know what you like about them. Let me know what you don't like about them. What are some other monsters you would like to see them do? I want to see Madame Wu. Um, just to, like the, the white with the blue hair and stuff like that. That color just meshes well together. Um, and I mean, I could think of a whole lot, like a bunch of them that I've seen on other seasons, but I just really want Madame Wu when they come back. But if you search Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for The Cajun Toe Boater, you can find me on there. You can message me on any one of those. I will message back faster on Facebook or uh, Instagram. If you search Two Old Cajuns Nerd Out, you can find my Cajun Toy Reviews uh, podcast channel on there. Give us a subscribe and uh, listen to our podcast. We have some coming out. with uh, We did an episode about the movie Tombstone and an episode about the movie Alien. Um, might enjoy that one. We do plan on doing like some 90s video game movies like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, Super Mario Brothers, stuff like that. Um, but I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing. Just overall, thanks for everything. And thanks for coming out. <laughs>